hello darlings welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys a really quick simple and really cute protective style that you can do on your natural hair and this is a style that is perfect for the holiday seasons if you're going out to dinner or just a style you can wear on a regular day um to run your errands it's just really pretty really simple and i think it's such a convenient style because it allows you to care for your hair throughout the night and at the same time, you don't need to be caring for the hairstyle. So I love styles that I can sleep comfortably through the night in. And at the same time, when I wake up in the morning, I have a really cute, fresh look. And I didn't have to lose any sleep over the style. So today I'm going to be showing you guys this. It's not a new style. It's a style that's been around forever. But I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this on my natural hair. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to go ahead and do so now. Also, hit the notification bell that will be notified each week when I post a new video. Video. so without further ado let's jump into this video and show you guys how the style is done so guys let me be honest with you all I didn't plan to film this particular hairstyle today um, I was just styling my hair as usual in the morning by taking out my braids and I was like why don't I just film this and show them how I do this hairstyle so let me tell you how I prepared my hair overnight I did a video a week ago showing you guys how I stretch my hair so I won't be explaining that process again but I did it a little bit different this time. I made, I wanted to do my hair in larger sections so that it would go a lot quicker. So I took like half the time. If you watched the video that I put up last week, you'll know how long it took to do the African threading me method. But I did it um, a lot easier this time. So instead of doing like 12 plaits, I did it in six plaits. Like I said, I wasn't planning on coming on camera to show you guys this hairstyle today, but I said, why not? Why not just share this with you guys? You guys might also find it really useful and helpful. So I, because I wanted to do them in larger sections and I know my hair would be a lot harder to put in the threading sections and it would also maybe not stretch as much, I went ahead and I plaited first. So right after shampooing my hair, I went in with my leave-in conditioner, um, moisturizer and a little bit of um, oil to the tips of my hair. Um, that is all while my hair is still wet and then I made these big plaits that you guys are seeing now but when I made the plaits my plaits were like this short because you know how natural hair is it starts to shrink up so it would have dried a lot shorter than it is now and I wanted the hair to be elongated and give a nice braid out kind of look but not really braid out but yeah stretch fluffy look I don't really want a braid out so I went in and I did the threading method on top of the plaits so I'm going to take off this ribbon of this right now to show you guys what is going on it's really easy to come off I just slide them off like this this is the ribbon I took off so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this ribbon as well So now that all the ribbons are off the hair, I'm just going to go ahead and undo my plaits. So I'm going in with this white tooth comb. You guys know I'm not trying to maintain the braid out. I just want my hair to be elongated and still more like a slight fro. So I'm just going to go ahead and start to comb through it a little bit with this. Of course, if your hair is a lot fuller and you want to keep the crimps in it, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to take some of this Garnier Fructis Wonder Oil and put it on my hair. Not on my scalp, just on my hair. You guys can use whatever loose oil that you have. So I went ahead and changed into this top so you guys can see the hairstyle a little bit better. I'm going with this um string first and tie it around my edges because I want the front part of it to be really neat take some bobby pins so 
So we're not gonna pull it tight, just making it really relaxed. Just like this. So I just put this hair tie around it for right now until I'm finished. I'm gonna go in and tie it down now with this for about 10 minutes just because the jelly is still wet and I want it to kind of dry down a little bit. After that is dry, the style is basically finished. So I'll just come back and take out the scrunchies and show you guys the finished results. So this is the finished results guys i really hope you guys found this helpful really quick really simple nothing over the top but still gives a beautiful finish so this is not a hairstyle that's gonna last you a long time but it's something that you can always redo so usually when i get off the road i would just use my fingers to section off the hair like it was before maybe in about four four to six sections the bigger the sections the more volume you get so maybe four sections and then I would just put it in twists or I can even put it in plaits it doesn't really matter then I would tie it down so that my edges I don't have to reach out my edges the next day and then I'd go to bed and when I'm ready to start again the next day I would just undo the twists or the plaits and then I would have the hairstyle again so this is it guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys found it helpful please comment below and let me know what you think about this hairstyle and let me know what videos you guys want to see i know i have a lot of followers from various um videos that i've posted in the past and i'm currently at a place where i'm not even sure what you guys want i'm not sure if i have more of my natural hair audience watching me or if i have more people watching me that are waiting for wig type videos these updo videos that I usually do. I still will do them, but I'm just trying to figure out what you guys want so I can create videos that you guys will enjoy. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, comment below what did you subscribe for? What type of videos from my channel that I've posted in the past did you find helpful and that you're waiting for? Comment that down below. I will definitely be looking at the comments for this video to know how to proceed over the next couple of weeks. So again, I thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.